Today, we're going to show you how to make a shirt with two colors of vinyl pressed onto that shirt. This specific project is spirit wear, so you can support your team, whether you're staying at home or going to the game. First, I'm going to upload the image that I'm using. And here's the image right here. It says fight on. It has two colors in it. So we are going to want to upload this image twice one to create the burgundy layer and one time to create the gold layer. Because it has two colors, I'm gonna choose moderately complex. If it was just one color, I could do simple. More colors is where I'd wanna probably go complex. So now we're gonna go continue. And my daughter actually created this image in Illustrator and she did it with a transparent background, which was really great. So. Now, if I preview this image right now, this is how it's going to actually cut. And actually, for the burgundy layer, I really want it to cut this whole shape because that will allow me to layer the gold over the top and not have any little gaps in it. So I'm going to click Continue. Now here on the left, it says to save this as a print and cut. If I did that, it would print this image from my printer and then cut around the outside edge. Now, if you don't want to layer your vinyl, this might be an option for you. Make sure you buy printable iron-on vinyl. But for me, I want to cut this out of the separate colors of vinyl. So this is going to be my fight on, and I'm just going to call it burgundy so that I remember this is the burgundy layer. Now we're uploading that same image for a second time. We're going to choose moderately complex again. But this time, we just want the gold. So we're going to use the magic wand and remove all of the burgundy areas. You can see when you use the magic wand, it really isolates that color and selects it and removes it in large groupings, which is great. Okay, now I'm going to preview that. It looks exactly like I expected it to. Let's go continue. Again, choose over here to save it as a cut image. And then go save this as the gold. It's kind of a golden yellow. Okay, so now I'm going to select both of those and insert the image. And it does come in rather big, so I'm going to zoom out. Now this one, I'm going to change the color to be the gold. And this one change the color to be the burgundy. And now I'm just going to slide this one on top and position it how I want it. That looks really good. And now I'm going to do a big window about around both of them. And I'm going to group them together. When I group them, now it lets me select, like if I just click here in this corner, it selects everything, which is great. So now I can resize it together because we don't need it as big as it came in. Okay, so now I am going to change the size to be, let's go with 10 inches. That should fit real nice on a shirt. So when we now click make it, you can see it divides it so that there is just the burgundy on this mat and the gold on this mat. Now here's another little tip for you. When you're doing an iron on vinyl, you want to make sure you mirror your image because you're cutting on the back side of the vinyl and then you'll flip it over to place it on your shirt. So make sure you click mirror. If you are like me and you often forget to click mirror, here's a tip. You can select this image here and go to flip horizontal. It's now mirrored already. So I'm going to save this project actually as fight on. And I know I'm only going to be using this on a shirt. So I'm always going to be cutting it out of the iron on vinyl. So I'm always going to want it flipped. So I might as well just do it here. And then I can click make it. And you can see when it goes to the screens, it's already flipped. So either way, mirror it in this view or in the um, back one screen, you can flip it. 
So now we're going to actually cut our vinyl and put our shirt together. We measured the actual shirt that we're going to put this image on and decided that eight inches was a better measurement. So I scaled the whole image down before we went to cut it. I also am um, going to load my vinyl with the shiny side down. Make sure your image is either flipped or mirrored. And I'm just going to load that into the Cricut. So now we put the burgundy iron-on vinyl onto the mat. Again, the shiny side is down on the mat. And we load that and cut. We place the shirt on a cardboard cutout just to have some firmness behind it so that we could decide where the design was going and then we'll be able to lift this up and move it over to the heat press. Find a shirt that you'd like where the logo lands and just measure that to figure out how far down from the collar you want it and try to center it. So make sure you check your heat press and your vinyl for specific time and temperature. I'm going to now put a tea towel over the top so that I'm not pressing right on the carrier sheet. And then close my Planet Flame heat press. Now we're going to let this cool until it's cool to the touch so that we can peel it off. So now we're going to remove the carrier sheet. I like to peel back slowly at angle. This way if any of the vinyl is starting to come up with the carrier sheet, you can just put it back down and press it again. So now we can place the second layer. And because there's a clear carrier sheet, that makes it really easy for us to just kind of line it up and figure out exact placement. And I usually place it on there and then kind of step back and look at it and see how I feel about it, and if I don't like it, I can adjust it. Sometimes it's helpful to show that actual image on your screen so you know how far down it's supposed to go and where different points on your letters are supposed to hit. For the second press, I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper over the top because there's some of the vinyl from the first layer that's not covered by the carrier sheet. so. The parchment paper will protect it without leaving the texture of the tea towel in the design. And now we're going to let that cool so we can remove the carrier sheet. And now that this is cooled, we can peel the carrier sheet off. And that shows you how easy it is to layer two different colors on a shirt. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And leave me a comment to tell me what project you're gonna make with this.